Well, welcome back. Quick stock alert here. Take a look at Chegg, the education technology company surging today after expanding its share buyback program by $200 million. Taylor, 1071. Meanwhile, working to block Biden's student loan bailout, the latest legal fight coming from conservative institutions. The Cato Institute and the Mackinac Center are suing the administration over its continued disregard of the Constitution. Now, a U.S. district judge dismissing their case, but the nonprofit says that won't slow them down. Holly Wetzel from the Mackinac Center, I'm pleased to say, joins us now. Holly, we are reading your piece in the journal today. It's called, uh, quote, my employer is suing to stop Biden's lawless action, and I'm glad. What's your response? What do you make of these um, policies that sometimes appear to not be going to the people who actually need them? Yes, well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, the biggest problem with this entire loan forgiveness uh, scheme is that it's blatantly unconstitutional. This is just a continuation um, of attempts by the Biden administration to uh, do widespread student loan forgiveness through executive action. And in this case, not even executive action, just via a press release. Holly, I think you're absolutely, you know, spot on when it comes to the Constitution, executive authority, the ability to be able to do this, but they keep pressing forward with it anyway. Let's just hypothetically say President Biden does find some way that's not challengeable um, to push this through. And all of your peers are getting, you know, portion of their student loans forgiven. Are you, you know, you say you want to forego it. It's hard to do that when everybody else is, you know, in principle, I understand where you come from. Just explain a little bit of your logic, how it makes you feel. Yeah, absolutely. Well, whatever short term benefit that I would be getting from this early relief uh, in my student loan payments would come at the long term and irreparable harm to the U.S. Constitution. We have separation of powers for a reason, and that is why any type of loan forgiveness of this nature, any type of appropriations at all, must come through Congress. And the reality is, it's just not politically popular right now. There's a reason uh, why Congress hasn't done it, and that's because people recognize the widespread unfairness of this loan forgiveness. Holly, do you think your generation has an entitlement problem, and that's what's behind all this? Um, I don't know that I'd go as far to say that it's an entitlement problem. Uh, I do think that there is a mentality uh, that, uh, you know, we are owed you know, something from the government. Uh, mm -hmm. And the reality is, just as I wouldn't want to pay for my neighbor's mortgage or their mm -hmm. car payment, they shouldn't have to pay for my student loans. Uh, you know, each one of us makes an individual choice as to whether or not to pursue a college degree what college to go to, whether to stay at home, whether to work full time through college. Um, those are choices and sacrifices that individuals make. Uh, and I think that it's fundamentally unfair to put that burden on someone else. Mm. Choices and sacrifices. You said it, Holly. That's what we live by. Thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.